So you've been considering moving to Crestview and you've been looking around the internet to go, hey, is this the right place or not? You know, I see good home values. I see negative things. I see positive things. What's going on? But as you've searched through, you don't know exactly yet what is true and what's not. That's why you're here on this channel. So in this video, what we're going to go through is we're going to go through the pros and cons. We're going to talk about housing. We're going to talk about the amenities and all the things to consider whether Crestview is going to be the next move for you. So if that's the case, make sure to stick around to the end because we got it coming right at you right now. What's up, everybody? This is Tim Whittemore here with the Whittemore Group in the beautiful Destin, Fort Walton Beach area. That's to include the Crestview area as well. If this is your first time to our channel, we do tons and tons of videos about everything you need to know about the Emerald Coast here in Northwest Florida. So make sure to hit that subscribe button, click that little bell so you're notified every single time we got a new video coming out. Now, honestly, we get tons of phone calls, text, emails, and it could be from you. It's never too early to reach out to us if you want to move here or you got some questions and need some help. We love talking to you. I will talk to you personally or any of my awesome staff will to make sure that you have the information and education to make this move the best move. All right, so let's get into Crestview. If we don't know where Crestview is, if you're looking on the Emerald Coast and you're looking at Destin and you go directly north and up the interstate between Eglin Air Force Base, you're going to find where Interstate 10 is and right there, that's the town of Crestview. That's right. The population's not too too big. It's 27,134 according to the last census. And what is Crestview really known for? And us locals have different things that we're known for. Most people will say that it was originally known as Hub City. Hub City because it had train tracks that went through there. It had interstate that had gone through. There's a couple of rivers that went through. So there was a lot of commerce and a lot of things where were the hub of where things would go and where they would be distributed to. So it was called the Hub City. But really, the thing that we know this most for, especially here, us in the real estate industry, is it's being the most affordable place with decent amenities with access to the beaches of Destin and Fort Walton Beach and all the others. So that's really, it's the location with the nicest homes. It's not gonna break the bank. All right, this is a real estate channel, so let's talk a little bit about real estate. Let's talk more about housing and housing affordability, because that's what everybody's asking on the internet, so I'm gonna answer. <laughs> We're in about three quarters of the way through 2024, so it is an election year in 2024, so it's been a little crazy. I've seen a big spike in inventory. However, we've seen prices steadily continue to rise, not by a whole crazy, this is in 2020 or 2021, but yes, we are seeing that homes are most affordable in this area. A lot of the times, I have conversations with some military people or somebody that works with the base or just generally relocating to this area. And they're always asking, hey, what's the most affordable? What's got the best homes, the most amount of land, whatever. And almost always, based on their situation, I'm saying, hey, it's Crestview, right? The reason why is because the median home price, and these are single family homes, medium home price is around 316,000. Now, if you're looking for a big old mansion out here and you can find this all the way up to 1.5, mill sitting on lots of acreage and it is basically an estate. I've seen some of these, shown some buyers these things. I'm just like, what do you do with all this space? Like how many families? Is this a hotel? <laughs> now beautiful amenities, mainly because people will build out there. They want their own space. They want to have their own little ponds and lakes and places. Everything's out there. It's absolutely gorgeous, but it can go up to that amount, right? Now you also can see pretty low prices out there too, still sitting on a decent amount of land as low as 55000 now, 55,000 is the lowest I've seen that isn't a mobile home. So yeah, can, you can get lower. I don't know if you're gonna be able to get financing for those things, but for an actual structure that wasn't a modular or a mobile home, you can get it around 55,000. Now, this isn't gonna be in the nicest places. It's gonna be out there by yourself, but if that's what you're looking for, it exists and it exists in Crestview. Now, what you're also gonna see in most of these areas is you're gonna see larger lots. So bigger land, half an acre, full acre, whatever you're looking for. The closer you get to the city center, of Crestview. Obviously the lots are getting a little bit smaller because you're close to everything, but more than likely you're going to find plenty of land. You're going to find newer homes. Man, I tell you, I got into this industry over a decade ago and they just been building, 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 tearing up some different places. They took a golf course and basically just put a housing development in it and took the golf course out. I was a golfer. I was like, oh man, but you know, all the other things that they took apart and they have these newer homes and newer communities all throughout there. So you got more acreage, bigger lots, nicer homes, 
all for a lower price. Now, hands down, it's the best bang for your buck that you are gonna purchase here on the Emerald Coast and be relatively close to things. If you're going into more of a rural area, even further, I could do a whole nother video on that. We're just asking the questions here below. If you're on this audio, you can always text us. The information will be at the end of this video, but we're happy to have that conversation with you if you're looking for something like that. But most people, they just wanna be there, have a nice home, be in a nice neighborhood, and have clear access to get to the things that they want to. Now, <laughs> I, I have to laugh here, I'm sorry, but one of the questions that came up on the internet asked, are beachfront views as good as others in Crestview? Well, it's landlocked, guys. It, Crestview isn't on the water at all. And I'm sure you know that, that are watching here, but I was surprised to see it as a question when we looked it up on the internet or people are asking. But you can, you know, to, to your credit, you can get properties that are on a stream, on the river, on a pond in the area, and they're still really nice, something to get out a little rowboat, kayak, paddleboard, what have you. And you can still enjoy some waterfront properties, but you're not gonna get golf or bay views in Crestview. It just doesn't go that far, okay? And that's probably why the prices are the way that they are. Okay, the next question was, what are the amenities like in Crestview? So Crestview is gonna offer everything that you may want in a town that's like right off the interstate. And you're probably like, what does that mean? <laughs> if you've been through some of these different places before, then you will have seen, you know, you go out the interstate and you've got the chain restaurants and things like that that are throughout those areas, you're like, oh, okay, this is what I would anticipate. Well, it does have a lot of that, but it's got also some more infrastructure that's built off of this, not just a truck stop area. You got plenty of restaurants, shopping, coffee. There's a Chick-fil-A. Used to be the biggest one in Okaloosa County. I think Destin took over with a larger one. But another nice part is you get to get out into the wilderness and you get to go to the different parks and access to trails and all sorts of other fun things that you can do there. The reality of this place is that Crestview has access to other places that makes living here the best, right? Here in Crestview. So most of the people will have some military infrastructure connection. So that could be work. And you have Duke Field, the seventh group with the army. You've got Eglin Air Force Base, even Hurlburt, a little bit of a drive. But you have access to all of those things from being right there for work and into the major cities. So even if you worked in Destin or worked in Fort Walton or Niceville or something like that, it's still not that hard or that long of a drive to get there. You do have access to the beaches. It's a 20, 30 minute drive, depending on the time of year and traffic. You still will be able to get there. It's a drive to get down there, you know, don't have too many libations on the beach and try to drive back, but you're able to get to there. You do have access to it. But being there right on I-10, now you have access to everything around there. You can go 70, 80 miles per hour. Well, go the speed limit, please, but it's Florida. But you could go all the way down to Pensacola and pretty quickly from I-10 and not have to hit traffic because you have the interstate that will get you right into Pensacola. Everything that a medium to a larger size city is going to have for you. This is right off of I-10 and head out to Tallahassee. You know, you got kids going to college and you need them to be able to get back and forth pretty quick, this is a good location to be for that. If you like to off-road, if you're one of the Jeep people, <laughs> you know who you are. You could do some off-road trails and things like that throughout there. There are tons of opportunities from the Eglin Air Force Base Preserve, providing they're not doing exercises out there. You've got creeks that you can go out to, paddle boarding, kayaking, what have you. Hiking, I mean, hiking relative to Florida because it's all pretty flat. And you have access to airports. Now, there is one up in Crestview. It's not a public airport necessarily. You have VPS, which is really only a 20 minute drive depending upon where you are in Crestview, could be less, down to get to the airport to have access to the rest of the world, right? But there's tons of stuff, tons of amenities that you can have in Crestview. And Crestview does have a little downtown area as well. It wasn't so nice a few years ago, but they've done a really good job revitalizing that area. And it's kind of nice, got a couple restaurants and a couple bars here and there. It's kind of scattered throughout and little boutique shops. It's kind of cute. Okay, so pros and cons from people have lived, this is what I kind of promised you before. What are things that people are saying are good or bad? Well, the first thing that you'll hear, and I'm sure you've read or listened to already or watched on, is traffic. Getting into Crestview is pretty difficult. Okay, and during that time, usually in the afternoon, when the Duke Field gets out and people are trying to get back to Crestview, which is usually that time around 2, 3 p.m. until almost 7, it's gonna take a long time to get from South Crestview up past I-10 into Northern Crestview. It can tack on an extra 20 to 30 minutes depending upon how bad the traffic is. So just know that that's something that people will really complain, of course, plan accordingly. Or the second thing that I tell people when they move there, if they're going to work south of Crestview, stay in South Crestview. You stay south or just north of I-10. There's plenty of good housing that's out there. When you live in Crestview, if you can stay in that area, that you're gonna cut off a good 20, 30 minutes to and fro 
from your work travel <laughs> when you go back and forth. So those are some things that you just kind of want to look at. Okay, I want to move to South Crestview. The neighborhoods are going to be a little bit newer, a little bit better, but again, you're probably going to pay just a little bit more for that. Now, if you've been through a place and you've never been in a military town, this is one of those places. So you're going to go out and you're going to find people that are wearing their military garb going to and fro work or on lunch break or whatever. And if you're not used to that, it's kind of surprising. I had a guy that came from California years ago that had told me the same thing. It's like, I just, it was a culture shock and I couldn't take it. It's like, okay, well, me being somebody that did most of my younger adulthood in the military, it didn't really surprise me. So that's just something else, some feedback that we've got. Now it does get a little crowded for a small town, mainly because we got a lot of transient traffic, especially during the vacation season. You know, anytime between the spring to fall really peaks in the 4th of July, the traffic gets pretty nuts because we got everybody that's coming down through I-10 to travel through Crestview to get into the beaches down in the Destin area. So it can get a little crowded during the tourist time. The infrastructure is building out. They have the Destin Commons that they're building and everything else to facilitate that. They're also building out more space on the highway and certain offsets of the roads. So they're doing a good job. It's just still a little bit crowded. Now the infrastructure is growing to accommodate as I did mention before. So they are building out like PJ Adams has gone into four lanes and split with extra lights so people can get across traffic. All of the things that have frustrated us for the years that we've been here, they're doing a pretty good job mitigating that now. Now, if you are moving to some place to really enjoy the nightlife, you're not really gonna find it in Crestview. There's really no nightlife in my personal opinion there. There are some places that you can go for a couple of bars here and there. It's kind of, you know, it is what it is for a small town. But if you really want a nightlife, you'll still have to travel down to the Destin, Fort Walton, maybe even Niceville, even though that doesn't have quite a bit there in order to enjoy yourself with that crowd. Now, if you don't mind driving, everything's pretty close. So if you're like, yeah, I don't mind as long as I'm 20, 30 minutes from where I want to be, this is going to be a great place for you. If the house is more important than the actual location you're sitting in and you don't driving from place to place, Crestview is going to be one of those places that you should consider going to. It's one of those overwhelming things that people have told us that have moved there. Last but not least, I was debating whether to put this in the video or not. When we first got here, when I was, when I was still wearing a uniform for the Air Force, one of the things that people were talking about moving to Crestview, they called it Crest Tucky. Right, and Crest Tucky because it was just out in the middle of nowhere, you know, way out from the things that you wanted to do. Now, me as back then as a single airman in the Air Force, you know, I wanted to be more around things, right? That was more important to me at that stage of my life than it was to have a big home and all these other things that we had mentioned in this video. So yeah, they, they'll call it like being out in the sticks, you know, the hill people, whatever, like that was kind of a local connotation back then. It's still kind of funny to me because it's really not that bad, you know, if you look at all the other different areas, but I figured I'd throw that in for some humor. <laughs> but that's all I do have for you for why Crestview might be your next move. If you have any questions about anything I mentioned here, please leave it in the comments below. I love hearing from you guys. If you are on one of our audio sources, stay till the end to get the number that you can call or text us if you do have questions as well. And if you are moving here, once again, it is never too early to contact us. If you are considering moving to Crestview or any of the surrounding areas here, give me a call. Give anybody here on our team a call. We're happy to help you out. We can get one-on-one one time with me directly, or you can get any of our awesome partner agents here to help you out as well to make sure your, your move is the most informative and the easiest move moving forward. So my name is Tim Whittemore here with the Whittemore Group with LPT Realty. We'll see you in our next video. Take care.